Amen. And the opportunity for testimonies that have been rendered. Amen. On this morning. Amen. We're preparing ourselves. Amen. For our uh, uh, announcements today. And then we shall be ready to us by Mother Evangeline Jenkins. Mother Jenkins. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. And good afternoon. Amen. To each of you. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. What a mighty, mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. I thank him and praise him. Amen. For all of his many wonderful blessings. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God that we serve. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, amen, hallelujah, we thank and praise God. Amen. The year is almost gone. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we thank and praise God that we're yet here. Amen. And our announcements this morning are as following, amen, of December 12th, a noon day prayer. We'll be here at the church at 12 noon, amen, on Tuesday. Amen. We'll be praying for personal peace, for backsliders, amen, hallelujah, for healing, for families, amen, hallelujah, dysfunctional families, amen, financial breakthrough. Amen. And for salvation for all those ones that are seeking the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can come here. Amen. At 519 South Pearl Street here in Belton. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And daughter for us that uh, Tuesday will be Ella Norma William. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And our missionary meeting, amen, will be the last Friday in this month. Amen. The 22nd, amen, of December. Amen. A couple of days before Christmas. Amen. So just um, remember that. Amen. And some of our upcoming events. Amen. It's quite a few things that's going on. Amen. December the fifth. Amen. You know that we're not. Uh, it'll be our uh, Friday uh, worship service because we're not having Bible study for the month of December because we're preparing for the topics, asking the Lord to, to to give us what we need to be teaching. Amen. In the new year. Amen. And that on Friday night, which is the 15th, that ID number is 613, amen, 459-8540, amen. The passcode is the number one, amen, capital P, small t, small a, amen, capital B, and capital W, amen. And I said that, you know, we haven't ha been having our Women of Evangelism, uh, Momentum of Evangelism Now program, amen. Our church mother that started that, amen, Mother Gwendolyn Wayne, she passed, amen, so it's coming up. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we're just going to keep you informed. Amen. That we're going to have um, a service and reverence to her. Amen. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And our online giving. Amen. If you want to uh, give a seed. Amen. To this church. Amen. You can do so by doing it for Get the Five Holy Temple by Lord Jesus Christ, 519 South Pearl Street. Or you can do it with a dollar sign, uh, Holy Temple 519. Amen. Hallelujah. So we have a lot of conferences. Our conference is coming up in the month of February, amen, hallelujah. So just want to just say that, amen, and as we get close to, uh, to February or in February, I'll announce those announcements, amen, that we'll be having our, our regional meeting, amen, and that is going to be in um, San Antonio, Texas, amen. So just judge yourself accordingly to that, amen. We'll be getting back with you on that, amen, hallelujah. Amen. Our uh, Holy Temple values, amen, that we reverence the house of God, respect for each other, amen, with friendliness, amen, supportive of the ministry of salvation, and to be faithful in stewardship. Amen. Hallelujah. And we want to uh, give a shout out to each of you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to all the sick and the shut in. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord, the Lord is yet working miracles. He's yet delivering. Amen. He yet said and free. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, I want you all to remember our sister pastor uh, there on the highway. Amen. Coming back from Florida. Amen. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord will give them a safe journey. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So at this time, uh, no more announcements concerning the part of service at the hands of our pastor. Amen. Amen. Uh, and for Mother Jenkins, we're going to have you share the first song. Amen. And be a source to offer. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for Brother Ace, our very faithful brother. Amen. In the name of our Lord. <coughs> Hallelujah. You can make it. You can make it. Because I don't care. 
what's going on. God won't let it last too long. You can make it. You can make it. Cause I chapter 15 began with the 51st and conclude the 54th. Amen. Yes. Amen. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Amen. We thank God for the reading of the word by Brother Jenkins. For the word of God is truth to us. So you may be seated at this time. Amen. We shall have uh, Brother Abbas, Sebastian Arsa. Hope I didn't mess your name up. <laughs> Amen. We're not our next selection. Brother Arsa. Amen. Gentle Savior, hear my humble cry. Yeah. While all others round are calling, then do not pass me by. Crying Savior, oh Savior, hear 
death of Jesus. Amen. They pass me not. Amen. Look at the Savior. Do not pass me not. Amen. Which suggests mm -hmm. that we are seriously earnest about our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Amen. Endeavoring to use for a thought. Amen. On today. Are you ready to be raptured? Well, are you ready to be raptured? Remembering what Matthew records in the 24th chapter of Matthew, uh, that 42nd verse to 44, say, Watch therefore, watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth coming. Mm -hmm. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. The 44th verse said, Therefore, be ye also ready. For, no, for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man coming. Amen. You must be ready for the rapture. It is the Lord's doing. The time is set, and only He knows the time. Even the angels above does not know the time of His return. There are two aspects of His return. Amen. One in the air, and one, amen, on the Mount of Olives. Amen. Where he will return physically. That same mount that he ascended up, he's coming back again. Amen. But he has given, amen, the world an opportunity, amen, to embrace him. Because he died for the sins of the world. Amen. Not just any particular family or any particular denomination, but every soul that belongs to God. And the word said, the earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, and they that dwell therein at. Amen. So when we think in terms of his returning again, we know that it's going to be a sudden event. Amen. He's not going to be the trumpet sound and say, get ready now, because we have been preparing, amen, for that moment from the time we were born again. So when we were baptized, or rather repented of our sins, amen, and been baptized in his name, amen, filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, we've been running for our lives. We've been fighting for our lives because we know that day is coming. We don't know when, day or night, but it is coming, amen, as sudden as things happen, it's going to happen. Amen, it is going to happen, amen, without amen, any signs to look for. Thank you, Jesus. Because the signs of the time that Jesus talked about, that there are going to be walls and rooms of walls. They're happening now. There are going to be earthquakes in diverse places. They're happening right now. Thank you, Jesus. And these may be just the beginning of sorrow. Amen. But the body of Christ, amen, must be extracted, amen, from this sinful world before the day of the Lord come. Amen. That day that he descends from heaven and steps foot on the Mount of Olives. And then it divides itself in form. Amen. A valley. Thank you, Jesus. And if you are not ready, praise God, you will not hear of the Lord say, Well done. You will not be caught up, amen, with those that are dead or those that are alive. You will love to be remained. Amen. We will be without warning. Oh, good God Almighty. No notice is coming to your mailbox. Amen. No newscaster. Amen. Going to broadcast that tomorrow is the time. Get ready. In our time, there have been those of false preachers and false prophets that have, that have determined days that the Lord was going to come. And those that followed them, amen, were greatly disappointed. Thank you, Jesus. But we have that assurance in His Word. He's coming back again. He said to his apostles, uh, his disciples, uh, I'm going away, uh, amen, to prepare a place for you. Uh, and if I go to prepare a place for you, uh, we've heard it time and time again. Uh, he said, I'm coming back again. Uh, and if he said he's coming back again, uh, 
you can be assured that he's coming back again. The purpose of his coming, amen, is to receive you unto himself. Amen, praise God Almighty. We've heard it said, but of the time and the season, brother Rang, ye have no need that are right unto you. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so come in as a thief, amen, in the night. Isn't that right? The wind, they shall say peace and safety. Then suddenly destruction come upon them. That shall veil for the woman with child. And they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness. Amen. That that day shall overtake you as a thief. Be ye ready. You don't mind. Not making preparation to be ready. But oh, be ready. Isn't that right? My God. Thank you, Jesus. That ye all, amen, are the children of light and the children of the day. Good God Almighty. We're not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others, but let us watch and be sober. My God, the planning season is over. Lord God Almighty, in the harvest is over. God Almighty, we're waiting. There's been waiting for his return. Yeah, we can't make it if we're not ready. Look how much time it means the Lord. That gives us, oh Lord, some head from the youth to the seventh and eighty. Amen. Be ready, Lord God Almighty. Oh, they've taken the time to do other things rather than getting ready for the Lord's coming. That coming. In the air, yeah. The fools that live right and die before that day. Those that hell on, he's a changing hand. My God, they are going to be taken first. Those that are dead in the Lord, you will not be able to prevent them. Yeah, she no grieve, hold their body down. To God Almighty, they are ready. They have suffered indignation. They endured the hardships of life. But to hell on, to God Almighty. When that time comes, God will not forget them, but they will be caught up to me to me there. Hallelujah. Go on. Glory to your name. And if by chance there be breath in your body, you be alive, my God. And I've done the same. You've been good, hard as a good soldier. Isn't that right? You've held on his unchanging hand through sickness. You held on and endured. You did not blame God for the thing that came upon you, but you gave him praise. Lord, I thank you. But kind of be worthy to suffer for righteousness' sake. Isn't that right? Good God Almighty, only God knows. Only God knows the precise time, the precise moment that He's coming back for His church, and He's coming back to judge the world. My God. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, the scriptures uh, continue to reinforce uh, that we must be ready. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, I said we must uh, be ready. 
Ha. And while we're ready, ha. continue, ha. yeah, ha. to live holy. Because we ha. were chosen in Him. Ha. It was the foundation of the world. Ha. It meant to be like Him, ha. to be holy. Ha. Good God Almighty, ha. He shared ha. with the world ha. for holiness without. Ha. I said for holiness without, ha. with no man. Ha. Shall see the law. Hallelujah. The question is when you search your life, the Bible tells you to examine yourself to see whether or not that you are in the faith. Oh Lord, you have the days that breath is in your body. Did not he say, study? The show that's of the fruit of the law. A work done. I need not be ashamed. Right me, divide it. The word of truth. You've done that. You've studied. Yeah. You've held on. You've been doing. Hold on. You did not deny the faith. Yeah. You kept yourself in the right posture. That it ain't going now. My God. Thank you. Well, well. Let me assure you. Yeah. When I remember that Jesus returned for his bride. Ha, is for fair to a Jewish wedding. Ha, good God Almighty. Ha, one that said ha, about the wedding ha, when the promissory note ha, or the contract ha, is brought together. Ha, oh Lord, ha, the groom, ha, I say the groom, ha, give the bride the beat. Ha, yeah, ha, a couple of mine. It is her decision to take of it or to push it away. If she partakes of it, she will accept it to be his life. But now she does fall under him. She is healed. Good God Almighty. And just as Jesus said to his disciples, I'm going away to prepare a place for you. Yeah. But I'm coming back again to receive you unto myself. Oh Lord. So the bride, so the bride got to prepare herself and be ready. While the groom, hallelujah, go with the farmer and add on to his father's house. The God Almighty, He keep on building for that day to come. She's gonna be mine and all mine. The God Almighty, He may finish building, but only the Father can say, "Now time to get your bride." Hallelujah! Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, many have said uh, that it could take uh, a long other year uh, for the bride uh, to be ready. Uh, she dressed uh, in a garment, uh, a wedding garment. Uh, she can't take it off. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, we're going to have a long uh, She has to wait. Uh, we got on uh, our holy garment. Uh, yeah. Uh, wash. In the blood of the Lamb. Oh, I, oh, yeah. God Almighty. I, and we're ready. Yeah. I, like the bride. Oh, yeah. Waiting for the groom to come. Oh, I, like the groom. Waiting for the word. Go get your own bride. Hallelujah. Will you be ready? Or will you still be in that posture of getting ready? Look here. I want you to know that tomorrow, yeah, has not been given to anybody. God Almighty. So don't postpone the day. 
for tomorrow. Because ah, tomorrow just may not come. Ah, when you lay down, ah, it's a serious event. Ah, when you lay down, ah, oh no, ah, and don't rise in the morning. Ah, the way you go down ah, is the way you shall come up. Ah, if you go down, ah, have faith. Ah, you want to come up, ah, have faith. Ah, for the Lord God, He said in the word, I'd rather have you hot or cold. But when you look warm, I will spew you out of my mouth. My God, thank you, Jesus. Yes, it's an important thing. But it appears, and though we don't see it that way, we not only plan for tomorrow, we plan for next year. You might not be around, amen, for next year. You're gone, nobody. Not to, put, not to fear you, but to put the fear of God in you. That it could be any time now in your life when we walk around. With chips on our shoulder, oh, though the Lord may not come at any time, though we got a long time, many have said it's been over two thousand years. It haven't sold up yet. Many are still got time. The God Almighty, you don't have as much time as you might see. Oh. Nation against nation, mother against daughter, sin about men, yeah, but his grace much more about. Isn't that right? We must continue to sing the song. I'm on my way to heaven, and I'm so glad. Hallelujah! Oh heaven, heaven is mine. Not only sing it, but you gotta be ready in that posture. Be holy, yeah. But you show your eyes at night. Make sure that there's no sin, no iniquity, nothing that will separate you from God is in your life. So when you get down on your knees, yeah, you ought to get on your knees. Say, Lord. Search me, Lord. If there's anything in me that's not like you, take it out. Take it out. Take it out. And strengthen me. My Lord. And the Lord said, in our walk with him, we must follow peace with all men. Yeah, not just some, but all men. The holy net is down. Good God Almighty. The holy net is down. With no man shall see the Lord. We have his assurance, as Paul said in Romans, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he will, or he was able to perform. And I'm so glad that I'm so glad. I'm so glad we're in that ready posture. If you die now, you're afraid and got it right. Don't put tomorrow off. Or don't put today off for tomorrow. If there's an art against your brother, don't sleep on it. Yeah. Just don't pray about it. But do something about it. Call that brother and let him know your sorrowfulness. My Lord. Thank you, uh, thank you Jesus. Thank you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to go back with him? Are you ready now to embrace him? Good God Almighty. You know uh, sure he's coming back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at you now. Are you ready? 
Are you really ready? Or do you have some sin? Some iniquity? Some transgression? Just hang it on. It's God Almighty to be healed. When you examine yourself, you will come to the conclusion that I am ready. If you take me now, I'm ready. I have no faults. I have no sin. I'm clean. Just like it is. When you commune with the Lord, you can't have sin in your heart and take communion. God does not commune a man with an unclean thing. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. The judgment of God is coming upon the wicked. Yes, it is. But we got to be ready. They meant to be out of here. We want to stand. Amen. Before the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I said, we want to stand in his presence. Here God says, well done. No, Lord. Well done. That good and faithful servant. Many of us. So many of us can say, I'm ready. I'm just waiting on his return for me. While I'm waiting, I'm fighting the good fight of faith. I'm not going to turn around. I've come too far. Endured so much to give up now. Isn't that right? Some might say, I'm in that posture. I wait on him. It ain't going to change. Mother, I'm not going to change for her. Father, I'm not going to change for him. Brother or sister, I'm not going to change. I'm going to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that my Lord in him, amen, and not anything. Some of those that have been through the fight, been through the troubles and been through the pain can say these words through my suffering and through my pain I'm ready and I'm still waiting I may be on my hospital bed but I'm ready I'm just waiting for him. I may be in the midst of a storm but I'm ready and I'm waiting on him isn't that right I've gotten over the lake sales. I've gotten over the backbiters. I've gotten over the slanders. I've gotten over the thieves. Lord, have mercy. And I'm trusting in the Lord. After all I've been through, that's what I heard some say. Out of all I've been through, yeah, it doesn't matter that you've been through it, and that you still stand after you got through it. When it's all over, while you're going through, give God a praise. And while you're going through it, give God a praise. Isn't that right? Through your sickness, yeah, whatever it is, diabetes, heart murmur, whatever it is, asthma, whatever it is, give God the praise. He can take you, yeah, just as you are. He's not coming back for this physical body, the flesh and blood. Can't enter in to the kingdom of God. Have mercy, Jesus. So don't worry about the outside. Get the inside right with your God. After all I've been through, I'm still ready. How bad they treated me, I'm still ready. When they cast me out of the church, I'm still ready. Good God Almighty, because I know His word is true. Through poverty, amen, not rich. Through poverty, living on the other side of the track. But I'm still ready. He's not coming for me. Because I live on the good side of town. Oh, Lord. But Lord Jesus, yeah, through the letdowns and through disappointments, I'm still ready. There's a difference between getting ready and being ready. A cake is no good, yeah, when it's not ready. You can have all the ingredients. Mm. 
But until they go in the fire, yeah, they bind all those things together. And then they become one. Oh, Lord. And a good big nose when they take it out. Yeah, 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 Jesus. If you take it out too soon, it ain't going to be ready. It stay too long. It won't be what you want. God knows how long to keep you here. How long to keep you going through your song. Sometimes you lose a good companion through death. But that shouldn't stop you. Oh, Lord Jesus, from being ready. Isn't that right? Because when you get to heaven, you know he's done. But there's no marriage and giving in marriage in heaven. Because we are his bride. We're married to the one God, the true and living God. Yeah, I am that I am. The Alpha and the Omega. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus the Christ. Jesus the anointing. Jesus the Son of God. Jesus. God manifested in the flesh. Jesus. Who saved us from our sins. Isn't that right? Good God Almighty. We must give him praise and glory. Right now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Get right right now. Yeah, that make long distance call. To get it right, do it now. Because even the day's many will not see tomorrow. Good Lord Almighty. Go on. God is working on you. Because of his love for you. You ought to be ready. And stay ready like the bride. You got on your garment, and you ain't gonna take it off. That happened on the whole arm of God. You're not gonna take it off. Day or night, you're sleeping with it. It's yours. Hold on to it. Keep it on at all times. Keep that mind. Let the smile be in you. We will also in Christ Jesus. Ha. Lord, I don't want to pretend that I'm ready. Ha. In that hatred and jealousy and malice, ha. still hanging on to me. Ha. Lord, I got to get rid of all of those. Ha. I got to lay aside every weight ha. and every sin. Ha. And do you so beset me ha. and run this race with patience. Ha. Because in your patience, ha. But that's in your soul. It's your choice. It's your decision. Every day of your life. Everything that you encounter, you can do it right. Or you can do it wrong. But many times you can do right and yet think wrong. God isn't pleased with that. You can't just look good on the outside and be a mess on the inside. But many folks are still like that. They look real good on the outside. Oh, Lord. But the language is foul. But the mind is corrupt. They think more of worldly things than godly things. Hallelujah, Jesus. You must be sure that you're ready. You can't get ready for nobody. And you can't get nobody ready. The only one you can get ready is yourself. Stop wasting time trying to get somebody else ready. And get your life in order. That you'll be a light that sits on the hill that cannot be here. You'll be someone that they gravitate to to know more about Jesus. How do you deal with this? How do you stand this? How do you put up with this? And you say, because Jesus is in me. He gives me the strength to trust him. To let him do it. Give him give God a hand raise today. Give him a praise today. And then give him a praise today. Because we'll see you until the day of redemption. We're ready and waiting for him. If you're not ready, if you can't say I'm ready, don't wait till tomorrow to get ready. Amen. Get on your knees and cry aloud. Lord, I need you now. Is there any sin or malice that's hanging on to you? Amen. Don't just say wait till I pray tonight. But get it done right now. The you that's sitting in the pews and those on Facebook. There's no promise that when this message is in, you're going to still be breathing. So if I were you, I would get right now. I would get ready. I would get in the right place. Have every T cross here. Have every dot, every I dot. Have everything the word requires of me. Give it in place. And as if to give them 
that the spy they use, even forgive your enemies, all of that we have problems with. We want this journey to be a smooth journey, but it ain't going to be a smooth journey. Hallelujah. It ain't going to be smooth until you get to heaven. You got to keep on climbing up the rough side of the mountain. Oh. You got to make it to the top. Mm. Sing and is God satisfied with me? Sing and is God satisfied with me? It's a serious question in my soul today. Is God satisfied with me? Sing and is God satisfied with me? satisfied with the deeds that I've done. Amen. Am I doing them for my own glory, my own praise, or am I doing it for your glory and that you may get the praise? Search me, Lord. All that stuff that's not right, help me to lay it off now. Not wait till tomorrow to get it off, but get it off right now. Amen. Those that we need prayer and want to respond to the call, Amen. To be ready. You're not ready. You want to be ready. Amen. That calls for first repentance. Godly repentance. That godly sorrowness. That calls for being baptized in water. Being submerged in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. And that means being receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues that the Spirit gives them utterance. Amen. You need a whole package. Amen. You can't get there just with baptism. Alone is not going to get you there. Because the word says for holiness to die. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, amen, living a holy and righteous life when it comes, amen, your living would have been in vain. And I don't think we would like to have that said, depart from me, for your work was of iniquity. So when you come, even those that are on Facebook, whatever your needs are, speak them in your heart. Amen. To God. And let God in. I hear the bow now. Most merciful, most gracious, just and loving God. We come to thee now. You've heard your word. Are you ready? Many can't say that I'm ready. Touch their hearts now, O God. Open up their eyes that they might see. That they might humble themselves before you. Repenting of the sins and going down in the word of your name. That you might fill them with your spirit. Lord Jesus, not only those that are seeking you, but those that need healing, those that have gone through the experience, those that have you in their heart. Amen. And David said, the word have I given in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Those that are filled with the Spirit, yet going through pain and discomfort, going through all manner of disturbances. In your name, we pray that I will give them the faith to trust you, to trust what you're doing in their lives. Because everything that you put on us, you say all things work together for good. To them that love the Lord, those that are called according to his purpose. So we're trusting you, O God. That backslider, O God, that have chased and seen that you're good, but have strayed from you. Let him know you're still waiting with arms outstretched. Because you're married, the backslider. Not only our healing physically, O God, but our healing spiritually that we are in need of. We want to say, as we lay down tonight, Lord, am I ready? And if he speaks to our hearts, then know we get on our knees and continue to pray. Until we feel it in our soul that if you take me now, 
is good with is good in my soul. In his mighty and holy name, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. And we give you the praise. Amen. And amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. At this moment we will ask Mother Jenkins if she would. And come before us and share with us those that were able that she were able to extract. Amen. From the list. Amen. Those that scream today and heard the word of God. Amen, amen, amen. We thank and praise God, amen, for that word of God, amen, coming from our pastor. Are you ready to be raptured? Amen. Hallelujah. I was sitting there thinking about the song that said, get right, church, and let's go home. Hallelujah. My God. Thank you today for the word of God, amen. We thank and praise God for all of our visitors, amen, that was here with us today, amen, Bishop Cornell Williams Sr., amen, Mother Patricia Wright, Sister Diane Garrett, Sister, um, no, this is from last week yet. Uh, Sister Gloria Bacchus, amen. Uh, Mother Patricia Wright, amen. Her Hollywood Missionary Dolores Griffith, amen. Brother Anthony McCray, amen. Deacon John Matthews, amen. Uh, Elder Manny Adams, amen. And Refuge Cool J.C. of West Park, amen, there in Florida, amen. We thank God for you, amen, for joining in with us today in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And God bless you until we meet again. Back into the hands of our pastor, Bishop William Quigley. Let's say amen as we come forth. Amen. We're grateful to God for this day. The word declares that this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. As he has shared with us on this day, let's ensure that we are ready. We're not half baked, we're not half done, man, we're not lukewarm, but we're ready. Everything God's word requires of us, and we measure up. Examine yourself, not just one time, but have a constant evaluation and examination. Am I doing this according to the word of God? Am I doing it and it's glorifying God? If it's not, all your labor will be done in vain. Amen? Amen. So we thank God for this day that he has blessed us and come and to uh, share a word with you and to hear the testimonies of those that were able to run this morning. Amen. And hear the, the song we played that was sung in the testimony service, as well as the solos that were sung by Brother Ossop as well as Mother Jenkins. Amen. And this time we're standing. Again, most merciful God, we thank you. You woke us this morning and allowed us to be clothed in our right mind. You've been with us as we travel over the dangerous highways. You brought us here to worship. And we've endeavored to do just that. Everything that we have thought and everything that we've done was for your glory and for your praise. So now, Lord, as we endeavor to dismiss ourselves from this building, but never at your pleasure, continue to be with us, continue to shield us, continue to bless us, and we will ever give you praise and glory. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and we thank you. Amen and amen.